Jean Stevens, CEO of RSM International, speaks to Eric Rostanya, Managing Director of Corporate Finance and Administration at GL Events, about the company's extraordinary success. Headquartered in France, GL Events is an event industry giant, managing 35 venues and staging over 4,000 shows per annum. The company's growth strategy was recognized and rewarded by the European Business Awards in 2010. Well, welcome to Entrepreneurial Ways. I, I have Eric Rosigna, um, <laughs> Managing Director, Corporate Finance from GL Events. Welcome, Eric. Nice to meet you. Thank you very much for coming. Um, uh, your, the story behind your company is just really fascinating. Um, and you were, you were formed in the, in the 70s, yes, by four, four friends, is that yeah. right? Yeah, the company was formed by four friends. Okay. We started uh, just stopping their studies. Okay. And uh, wanting to be entrepreneur. Okay, and, and now here you are 30, 33 years later, and um, how, how do you keep that same spirit? I, I would say the success of, of your company, where, where you're now in how many countries? Yeah. Well, about 20 countries. 20 countries, yeah. 20 countries with thousands and thousands of people. How do you take that same energy that started um, and built the company and keep that over so many years? Well, to, to keep that uh, energy, I mean, it's really, uh, Linked to the business first, because the business is really uh, a business which requires day-to-day -day, uh, hours and hours investment every every, every day. The other thing is, the, uh, which I think is linked to the to the personality of our, our chairman, who really loves the, the this business. We understand it, we understand it very well, and we, we is very very often in advance of, of on what the business should be tomorrow. So clearly the the, the fact that the business in itself is that the, uh, needs to have this energy, and uh, the other thing is to to be always in advance on the other competitors, makes uh, makes the energy still uh, in uh, in the group. So over over this thirty year um, time period, you're now in twenty different countries. Yeah. When you're going in, you decide here's an opportunity we want to go in or um, into this country. How do you do that physically? Do you send your your people, your team goes out there, scope it out? Then build relationships, or uh, well, you we buy must, companies. To yeah, acquire? well, each time we've we've done that, we bought a company. I mean, we did that in Brazil, we did that in South Africa, we, we did that uh, in in Dubai uh, or in Hungary, for example. Mm. Uh, there are times. Well, for example, in in in, in Spain, we we started Spain with the uh, Convention Center of Barcelona, which we were given uh, for a. 20 years concession. Okay. So then we started uh, okay. from scratch with okay. the with the opening of the uh, the convention center. But most part of the time, we have been uh, uh, abroad by acquiring companies, which help us to do it a bit faster. Right. Okay. How important is it to have that local connection? Then is it is it fundamental to your success? Yes, it is because for for many reasons. One is because. It helps us to have to know better and faster the culture, local culture of the country, mm. which is very important if you want to do business somewhere. I mean, you have to know how, how the things are yes. working there. And the second thing, in terms of really business, I mean, just setting up a company from scratch mm. uh, would take some time uh, to be known, to know the market, to know everything. So clearly, uh, starting a new country. We, we felt it, it's easier to 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 get to get with with us uh, teams which already know the countries, but we have to understand each other. So, right. so it may take some time. When you buy another company, of course, they have their own culture, their own DNA. How do you bring that together? Well, it's really the qu a question to be uh, to to look after the people, not to be arrogant, just to to be you know in a mind where you, you got to understand the other. Even if you have your own strategy, you have own, your own procedures, for example. So there is a, a point where you just say it is like this. But apart from that, you must listen to the to the people and and take contacts within the countries to really understand uh, how is it working. So uh, and sometimes what we do is having a kind of uh, course into the the company just with with uh, a consultant which learns with teachers how is it working in this country in terms, for example, of management, mm. how the people should be managed. 
this way or not this way because sometimes you have very big cultural differences. Yes. What what opportunities do you see now in terms of um, expansion? Are there any any big areas that uh, that you have your eyes on? Well, uh, if you speak in terms of global opportunities, Far East is yeah. easily you may understand uh, uh, somewhere we can go. I mean, Asia like China, but we are looking also the the part of. Uh, uh, Qatar, Abu Dhabi, okay. Dubai, and very strongly uh, uh, to Brazil because it's a good momentum, even though we are there, but the momentum is good because they will have the uh, World Cup in 2014 and the mm. Olympics in 2016. Mm. So uh, for us, Brazil within the six years coming, I mean, will certainly, certainly be a, a country, a real ground for development for us. Right, right. The, the, I mean, this type of business, uh, the people that you have, absolutely critical. How do you go about uh, instilling uh, the qualities within the people such that it maintains the quality level yeah. that you want uh, for your events? Well, uh, the first thing is that we develop uh, since three years our internal school, which really spend a lot of time with people and uh, we, we, we dispensed a lot of hours of uh, training both some techniques, but also just for everybody to know what the others know, because we have a lot of different jobs, you know, into the, the service business, just for servicing and events. You have the carpenters, you have the light, the sound, the, the, uh, the, the, the grandstand, the, the, the marquees and all that. And on the other side, we have the, I would say, marketing-minded people to organize the trade shows or, or the events. So clearly, we have to, to have these people understanding each other what is the other's job? Mm. So we, we, we spend a lot of uh, time and money on, on the training of, uh, of the people. We also make some uh, a yearly uh, conventions, again, to have these people, the managers together, to just to clearly understand that w where does the group goes and also what, where are the other business unit going. So we do spend a lot of time on that. Okay. What's, what do you think are the key uh, success points of leaders? Mm, that's a good question. <laughs> um, I would say, I mean, f to be, you have to be in advance every time. I mean, just to think where, where we are today, but clearly where we want to go tomorrow. I mean, mm. so you, you have to, to be a step ahead of the others, to think of what could be the, the business tomorrow, uh, what could be the environment tomorrow? Sometimes you, you you may be wrong, but clearly the idea of wh how I do the business today, what how I should do it tomorrow, uh, that is very important. The other thing is, I think it's in every com company when when you're growing so fast. I mean, the, the one of the big challenge is to recruit the right people at the right place, yes. and also because. Uh, this company again uh, has been founded uh, some years ago. I mean, to renew the people. Yes. I mean, to find yes. new people, younger people, uh, which will be there for the next 15 or 20 mm -hmm. years, mm -hmm. not to remain with you know the people that you have been recruited uh, at the beginning. So it's clearly a challenge uh, to find the, the right people and and to just and take the time to to inflate to to to, to give them the the spread and where we want to go. Right, right, right. Eric, thank you very much thank uh, you. for coming in and talking to me. It's a very, very exciting story. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much.